Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here, coming into another video. Now, today, as promised, we have the PC build. Now, this is a $1,200 PC build. Probably, to be fair, a $1,244 PC build. Um, but I just want to bring you guys this list because um, someone I know is going to be, well, I'm going to be building this PC for someone I know. So, I just want to show you guys the part list. Now, I do know some things could be probably better. Um, you know, if we went with an i5 and uh, higher up GPU, but for what they wanted in this build, this is going to be perfect for them, and it's going to be an extremely overpowered PC um, for, you know, games and such. Now, first off, we get the i7-7700K processor. That's the one I have. I love it. It's an awesome processor. Um, you know, it's it's a 4.2 gigahertz. Uh, that's the base uh, clocking and then it's tr uh, it goes up to 4.5 and it kind of you know I think they call that turbo turbo yeah it's the turbo frequency it's four cores um, does not use the full 91 watts like they say I know that you know it doesn't always use that much but you know I think it's fine it's got eight uh, threads which is nice um, and you know you can do some overclocking so that's why we went with this chip um, <clears throat> and also it's a really good chip for video editing and, and streaming and all that so that's nice next up we got the Corsair H100i uh, liquid cooler you know it does what it needs to do we're gonna try to overclock this to uh, I don't quite know probably 4.8 maybe 5 if we can get it to there but I don't know about that um, so yeah there's nothing really to be said about a water cooler next up we got uh, Z270 SLI plus motherboard that's the one I have I love it um, it looks really dope for how much it costs it's only like 130 or something like that and it looks really nice it's a really nice working um, board for just you know it ranges between uh, 130 to you know 160 and I don't know why this one's 209 but it's probably something else but uh, anywhere between these range um, I got it on Amazon um, and you know you rather spend a little bit like this has all the features of a I was looking at the difference between this one and one of the actual gaming brand motherboards and there really was no difference mine has a backlit this has a backlit LED um, it's a really good motherboard and definitely worth it now on sale we had some Corsair Vengeance LED 16 gigabyte RAM um, you know it's DDR4 obviously um, and it just like LED it kind of like um, in and out I don't I just use um, HyperX RAM but that's a lot more expensive and uh, this one has LEDs so this should work awesome um, since we're gonna be uh, putting in the LED just like my PC I don't know if a lot of you guys know I'll eventually do a PC update video on what my PC looks like um, but the LEDs in my PC um, <laughs> if I had LED RAM that looks super sick but I just got some uh, HyperX or RAM in mine, but this works very well and looks awesome. And it's only 115, where I think I spent on my uh, HyperX Fury RAM about 160 um, for 16 gigabytes. So a little more, but this is pretty close. Um, just a little less uh, clock speed, but that's fine if you have a built-in or if you have a external GPU. Now next, he wants very fast boot up speeds, obviously for this type of money. So we're putting in a 240 gigabyte SSD by SanDisk. It's a pretty good deal. These are going down a lot in price um, lately, so definitely worth the money. Obviously, we need a backup drive for games and you know videos and all that type of stuff. So we got a Western Digital one terabyte 7200 RPM drive. That's the standard. 48 bucks, not bad. I mean, they don't really change in price. For the GPU, we have an MSI GeForce GTX 1060, um, which will work perfect. You know, really, you don't really need a, t a you, you know, you might want to go up to a 1070 sometimes, um, but you don't really need a 1080. Like eventually, um, the two upgrades I'm going for on my PC is obviously liquid cooling. Currently, I just have a um, air cooler. It works really well, but uh, I just want to go liquid cooling eventually. <coughs> and then a GTX 1080, but I think I'm going to go for the 1080 first. And then go for liquid cooling but other than that so I'm going for a 1080 but that's just because I want to go all out on my PC 1060 this card's gonna play almost any game you can throw at it 
and definitely in the 1080p because he does not have 4k or any of that and this can easily play vr and stuff so this is honestly the perfect card for the build and it's red and black themed just like the rest of the build next we got the nzxts 340 not much to say here um, i have the h440 but this is a great case too um, it's got a nice window it's functional it's really functional it's obviously by nzxt 60 you know 70 bucks um, about half the price of the h440 which is a really good uh, deal the only reason i have the h440 is because in mine i got a i have a lot of hard drives like a lot of disk hard drives not so much ssds i have i'm gonna be getting another ssd soon but i have i think four terabytes of just uh, those Western Digital Blue drives in my PC and there's still room for uh, four more terabytes in my hard drive compartment so that's compartment but so that's plenty and I you know with video editing and stuff I need that space but for him uh, one to two terabytes will be plenty um, so anyway guys we got an EVGA 600 watt power supply same one I have, it's a nice power supply, it's not anything fancy, but it's good price and it's reliable. It's not some cheap garbage, but yet it's pretty cheap for the price. So there's the build, I'll leave the permalink down below. It's a really cool PC, definitely I think it's worth it to go try to build this one. I'll, uh, also, oh, real quick before I end up, we have an LED strip, this is the one I have. It's a Fantex LED strip, they're uh, like magnetic and with this motherboard, literally the best motherboard you can buy for the z270 chipset at a budget i love this board it has an led header for the um actual software if i can quick show you here you know i'll even show you um you get this program called msi mystic light okay and there's a little header on my motherboard that works with this led strip here um that's the same one i have and i have mine set to green because i'm a i have a razor themed build um but <laughs> literally with this LED color, you can change it anything. And this power, this LED strip plugs right into my motherboard, and I can change the color. I can do animations, all that type of stuff, which is amazing for a $130 motherboard. And these LEDs are only $17, so it's definitely worth adding them into the build. So, anyway, guys, I just want to quick show you an awesome build I'm going to be doing here and uh, kind of tell you guys about it, you know. Obviously, I know you guys always love the PC builds, and yes, I know the main criticism I'm going to get from this is why isn't this like a 1070 or a 1080, because that's not in the budget, but we wanted the i7 7700K for certain reasons, um, and this is going to be basically play any game. There's not a single game this won't be able to play, um, so it really doesn't matter at this point in time. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I will see you next time, guys. Peace out.